freezing in Dubai. That's literally the temperature of my AC in my room. I'm the black sheep of the family. I don't bother. Window up. Put the window up. Up, 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 up. Oh, it's cute though. I'll have you. Yeah. yeah. Bye, princess. Bye. Bye. Collecting bin mans around London. Each I'm, bar. Uh, each bar I'm collecting a bin man. I love, I love a man with ambition and goals. <laughs> to the Royal Atlantis to Ariana's Persian kitchen is that what it's called my dog chewed them I haven't yet shown you the culprit she's a new dog because I hate the gym I don't get that gym one outfit of the day Rick Owens boots petite mini skirt petite cropped tee to be honest I'm kind of living for this look with an oversized bomber wow this is literally me as a sims character. I had to like roll up the bottoms because they're a bit long and if I put them up too high they kind of like bunch my fat, my flab. Oh no. See we don't want to have that overhang of flab so I'm just gonna fold. Yeah so they cut me off at the knee which is where they're really ideally supposed to be hitting the average person. However, I do want to try these on with maybe skinny jeans or black leggings just to see maybe it could be a different vibe. It is a bit chilly today. It's not like a sunny day. People need to stop coming at me with, it's 25 degrees. Do you know that's freezing in Dubai? That's literally the temperature of my AC in my room. Yeah, okay, no. Okay, let me go try this on with another bottoms. Bottoms. Okay, jeans are on. I feel like I might want to do leggings yeah this is way more casual it's like oh i just put jeans and some boots on this is my casual just running errands doing nothing i'm not actually doing anything today i actually switched into leggings so i felt like i'm just coming from the gym and i was like okay i'll put gym clothes on too and then this oversized leather bomber obviously still got my rick owens on Chanel bag. Puffy. We came to a new restaurant in London. It's called Meet the Fish. It's actually a Lebanese restaurant. They have it in Beirut. Their menu looks super cool. It's like a mixture of meat and fish and um, plant-based dishes. But can we just appreciate the... It's giving de Gournay, but it's also tapestry. It's not. Everything is like so... It's such a cute little spot to come for like a date night. Just chill with friends. Um, so we got the hamachi tostada and then we've got hummus with ikura. Oh, yummy! <laughs> By the way, this eggplant is nuts. I'm not gonna lie. I don't even know if I want to tell you guys the name of the restaurant, but the eggplant is nuts. <laughs> I'm sorry, I gatekeep. <laughs> and this was actually decent. I'm, I'm surprised. Pleasantly surprised it was actually decent. Okay, so my friend and I had a fantastic little lunch together. This is like, I want to say my penultimate day in London. Tomorrow I'm going to go be with family. Haven't seen them, been here about two weeks. I'm that girl. I'm the black sheep of the family. I don't bother. Ah, now I'm not sure what we're going to do. We might just drive up. Ooh, Elise. Hello? Uh, yeah. What are you doing? Uh, cleaning. I cleaned. Oh, Probably going to do something in the evening. What's your plan for the evening? I'm going to be free around like 8 30 ish. Okay, fine. Are you doing dinner? I don't know. Probably. Well, if you don't do dinner, maybe we can do like Dishoom or something. Which yeah. one? Carnaby Street. Uh, Carnaby. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. Okay, so might you Dishoom in the evening with Elise? You down for Dishoom. So now I'm just chilling with my friend. I'm so glad she now drives because I'm that person that hates not being in a car. I love being in a car. I love seeing all these kids just finish from school because I walk next to them and I'm like, wow, kids really, kids these days really are grown. What are we feeding them? And why did my generation miss out on the nutrients that we were supposed to get? It's, um, <laughs> wait, what's the weather? <laughs> no, I was driving with a roof off and it's only 21 degrees. It's 22 actually. 22 is the new 30. 22 is the new, oh, it's hot. Hot guy, oh. hot. <laughs> no stop. You know what we used to do? Just catcall men, just piss men off. Oh like, my god. You know how? No, 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 no. Please don't. No. By the Put way, the window I... up. Put the window up, 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 up. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> They're literally twelve. We do what men do to us. We just harass them. 
That's cute though. I love you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I saw you talking to boys on Park Lane. Hello. Not me. What car did you drive so I know what to look out for? <laughs> but they were just like busy shouting and we we're like, yeah, see ya. This is why I love London. It's so funny. They, they disappear. Shit. Bye, princess. Bye. Bye. What is that? I don't know. Call me princess. What? <laughs> this guy's just laughing at us. This guy's just like, stop teasing the boys, girls. But we're not. But we're not. We're harassing them. <laughs> not even. Not even those ones. We don't even want them. Get yourself a convertible and drive around London. It's just the best thing to do. Just harass men. Oh, I love a builder. Yeah, that's the other day I had a... <laughs> The other day I had a bin man wave at me and I was like, hey! I love that for you! No, no the bin man talking about his music career. <laughs> the other day I had another bin man. <laughs> collecting bin mans around London. Each I'm, bar. Uh, each bar I'm collecting a bin man. This bin man was telling me about his TikTok music career going viral. I was like, yeah, send me your TikTok. Send me your song. I love that for them. I love, I love a man with ambition and goals. <laughs> That. Why is everything dead? Because it's Tuesday. Everyone's at work. Yeah, everyone's at work, bro. Except us. We're just the unemployed. We're just the unemployed. What time does everyone finish work? Well, I mean, we 9 to 5. Shouldn't we we'll be done by now? It's 5.30. Mm. Or 6, I guess. I'm gonna head home for a bit. I need to just chill. And then I think we're gonna... Probably go out for dinner or something in a bit, but I just need to chill. I did a little bit of stuff, just free haul shopping. You guys, if you watch my London vlogs, you'll know that I love Selfridges food haul. They have. What is going on over here? Love Selfridges food haul. They have the best stuff. I'm gonna do a little haul. Got some CBD drops. This is the maximum strength, 1,500 mg. 10% CBD. Hopefully this makes me fall asleep. Then, I saw these olives. Ollies. Chili and rosemary olives. Looked interesting. And then, if you're someone that travels with Tabasco, let me just, let me just stop you right now. Stop being a basic bitch. You gotta get this. The Truff Mini Hot Sauce. This is the Hossa sauce. This is where it's at. Love that. That was it. Nothing else, I'm not gonna lie. The Selfridges sale is on, but it's not, it's not great. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a bit pissed off because I specifically chose this day because the weather was gonna be miserable. So I was gonna be happy leaving because the weather looked awful. Someone tell me why the sun is shining. I really don't want to go. I'm actually traveling again in a couple weeks. I'm going to Istanbul. Anyways, let's go to the airport and do a little bit of... No, we're not doing airport shopping because there's absolutely no point because there's no tax back. What a waste of time. Why would you, why would you vote for Brexit? Why, why would you guys vote for Brexit? I slept the entire flight. Now it's 2 a.m. in Des Moines. That's not good, is it? No. This is the worst time to fly. Honestly, it's the worst time. The food was awful. Good morning, everyone. Or should I say good afternoon? It's morning for me because I woke up about two hours ago and I haven't had a coffee, I haven't had my morning shots, my morning shakes. But we're heading to lunch. We are heading to the Can you Royal... just let me film? It's like stressing me out. Heading to the Royal Atlantis, to Ariana's Persian Kitchen. Is that what it's called? Yeah. I still haven't tried it yet. I'm skeptical because when it comes to Persian food, it has to be like homey, you know? And did you go to, what was that place called? the Versace Hotel. It's actually so good. Was it good? Oh my god, it was so good. 
It was actually one of the best Iranians I've had. It's just so fun. No way. Yeah, like they cook the meat like in front of you on the um, the grill, and it's like so buttery and juicy. Is it over charcoal? Yeah. Ooh. No, it's so good. Honestly, like when I went, I was like, it's probably not going to be good. It's the like, you know Iranian what I mean? as like, like fine dining. Yeah, like, like I don't see Indian food as fine dining. That's what I'm saying. But then there are restaurants like um, like Jamavar in London, which is a Michelin star, and also the one here, Tracen Studio Carnival. So yeah, I'm really interested to see how this is, but I'm very excited to try this place out because it's been on my wish list for a long time. However, I really do want to check out dinner at. Um, at the Royal Atlantis by Hessen Blumenthal. The one in London is one of my favorite restaurants. I absolutely love their dessert. Their food is always phenomenal. Um, we are a little bit late. The thing about me is like, I'm never tardy, but like when it comes never to like lunch, lunch, no, when it comes to like lunch and like casual things with friends, I'm gonna take my time. Because yeah, but when you have a reservation at a certain time, be there on time. Yeah, but other people there I are hate on time. Being late. It's not like it's. A I feel like I'm just the only meeting. person in Dubai that's on time. I'm not gonna lie. Well, you're not on time right now. Yeah, because of you. You could have left. Well, I said I was gonna leave. No, no, no. When was the last time you came here? Oh, I actually came recently because oh, they really? have a um, they have a cake shop in here. Oh my god! Don't tell me about that cake. I would have eaten it off the floor. It was so good. The the carrot cake. The carrot cake. <gasps> Guys, this carrot cake was so moist and so good. I dropped it in the in the container and then like it splat everywhere, but like in the container. And oh then, god, I don't know what's going on with your camera. It's zoomed in. So the lady that owns the cake shop, well, the Doesn't she make cake bigger. for the queen? Yeah, she makes like all the celebrities, like birthday cakes, like the Beckhams, Pierce Brosnan, the yeah. queen's coronation, the queen's like literally everything for the royal family. Bro, so. this cake was nuts. But anyway, the last time I came here was for the Spectre preview. Oh yeah, you came for that. It was gorgeous. Okay, so we're gonna start with the Kashani lemonade, which basically has barberries, rose water, basil seeds, lemon, and a bunch of other stuff in it. <laughs> Yummy. Salad, salad cordon, whatever you want it. And barberie bread, crispy lavish bread, and that too. Thank you. Quite generous portion. Get it Food has arrived. We have the kibbeh there, we've got extra zash, we've got rice, three different types of torshi. So we've got the garlic, eggplant, what was that, Angela? She doesn't know. Can I give you some chicken? We've got fast and June with some gold. Do you eat chicken? So for dessert, we've got some traditional Iranian desserts, faluda. Basically like cold noodles with rice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love those. Oh, I love those. I love those. <laughs> you're telling me. My eyes are probably like... No, no, you're good. You're fine. It's, um, it's you're like fine. cold noodles with lime. Cornstarch. <laughs> Cornstarch with lime it's and rose water. Cornstarch noodles. I don't know. Oh. I, don't, I have no idea what cornichelli is. Yeah. <laughs> the little noodles. <laughs> the very thin noodles. Filled with an albalu sorbet. Sounds delish. These are Auntie's favourite. Get <laughs> okay. So just finished lunch it was a really nice lunch and now i just drove past a shoe butler and i broke my valentinos when i was in istanbul so i think i want to go pay them a little visit i'm going to take other shoes that need to be fixed and go get them fixed let's see if they can do anything fingers crossed they can fix these shoes because i'm so mad i just want to wear these shoes and i can't right, so just shove the shoes that need fixing into this bag this is the most heartbreaking pair. I know it just seems like a basic pair of Arans, but my dog chewed them. I haven't yet shown you the culprit. She's a new dog. Well, she's been in my house for about a year, but she's just so special to me and I haven't shown her. But when she first came, she chewed them. And these are my favorite color, this red. I absolutely love red. And I haven't been able to find the exact same pair or anything similar which is a bit disappointing. I do have other reds, but nothing beats this red, and I don't know what the color is. These are one of my Chanel sneakers. I just want to get them clean, to be honest. They don't really need like any restoration. They just need to be 
like cleaned properly. And then, of course, you guys have seen the heartbreaking Valentinos. It's a bit disappointing. And then these are my favorite Valentinos. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know if they can actually fix anything about this. I mean, the strap, yeah, I actually tried to burn it and fix it myself. It just doesn't go properly into like the hole, so it's a bit frustrating. However, the main concern obviously is the coloring, or should I say discoloration of the shoes. Like the leather is so supple, it got scratched while I was walking. I wear these, ew. I usually wear these under like Asian clothes because they're always too long. So I need as much height as I can get. And then this one, these are my Aquazuras, which are very comfortable. But the little thingy here has come off, which is annoying. I also want to get these nails chopped off. They are my actual natural nails, which is shocking. By the way, it took me, I don't know if you guys remember back in January, Auntie and I did a vlog where we were complaining about we got the worst nails ever and I just shut my mouth, but yeah. Basically, she filed my nails down to the skin whilst removing acrylics and it fucked up my nails so badly. I literally could not grow my nails out properly until now they're finally like healthy, growing, which is great. These two are actually press on nails, which I'm finding really frustrating. They are like exactly like my natural nails, like the exact same, well, just a little bit longer, but I'm finding them very long and I just can't function. I don't like having long nails. It's just really frustrating. Okay. Let's go. It's not too far from my house, which is great. I never actually get around to doing these things. Like they do have a collection service. A lot of these shoe fixing places have collection services, but I'm just too lazy. If I see it, I want to go do it now. And now I've seen it, I'm like, let's go do it. The last time I took my shoes to get repaired at this one place, it was an ordeal. They ruined a few of my Christian Louboutins. Like they were supposed to specialize in repainting the soles of Louboutins and that classic Christian Louboutin red. They did it like a burgundy and it just did not even match. And I'm not the kind of person that gets the um, the soles redone. I don't have those sole protectants, protecting thingies. And I wasn't ever the person that gets my shoes resold or like repainted, but I was like, let me just go see how it is. So I gave a few pairs because one of my pairs also needed the color of the shoe redoing and it was a patent pair. Instead, it came back with like black in ink marks on it and it was a nude pair. It's gonna cost me 450 dirhams to fix two pairs of shoes, which is just the stitching on the Valentinos to just like stitch up the buckle. And then the restoring the Hermes around, which I'm, to be honest, the two main ones that I'm concerned about, they're getting fixed. They couldn't actually fix the coloring on these, which is so disappointing because these are actually one of my favorite pairs of heels to wear. And like, I hate, hate wearing scuffed, dirty kind of looking shoes. I mean, from a distance, they don't look too bad, which is okay, but it's just that matte gold, which I haven't seen in any other pair of shoes. I mean, there are, I do have my Tom Fords, which are cute, but there's like, they're not chunky. And there's other brands which have come out with like gold chunky heels, but they're like bright, iridescent, like shiny gold. It's just plasticky looking gold. It's not nice. They couldn't fix these. They said if we fix them, the color will be matte. It's not gonna be the same as this, which is, I'm actually contemplating going to like Creative Minds, like a hobby craft, like an arts and craft store and looking for the color myself and seeing if I can paint the shoe myself. Should I do that? Should I do a DIY? Who am I? I don't fix this because they didn't have the buckle for the Aquazuras. They couldn't find the same buckle and they didn't have a smaller buckle. They said it would take time to fix these, but you know what? I don't even reach for these shoes anyway, so like, whatever. Oh, I need to go take off my makeup and go to the gym. She's gymming now. Don't ask, do not ask me if I enjoy the gym because I hate the gym. I don't get that gym high, but my cousin was like, um, it's cause you're not working out hard enough. And I was like, I definitely feel like I'm working out quite hard.